Next up, let's head down to the US for the Indianapolis. Uh, we've got the Indy 500 qualifying that happened on the weekend. Of course, we got the big 500 uh, this upcoming weekend. Mm -hmm. Gee whiz. What a race it is, huh? Gee whiz. It's Aust a big race. Australasia. Unbelievable. I guess you call it Oceania, Australasia. Well, the Aussies took over. Yeah. Well, well New Zealand and Aussie. Yeah. Um, Oceania took over. Oh, my God. How quick was Scott McLaughlin? Fastest ever pole winner in the history of the Indy 500. Yeah, well, only eclipsed by last year's pole winner, which was Alex Pelot. Mm. Um, and it, it was quite close. I think it was only a couple, hun couple hundreds of a second. Well, they use the miles an hour there. Yeah, I, I think it's speed based, not time based. Well, kilometer wise, I believe for us, it was like 379.9 something. Let me just find that out. That um, is ridiculous. It's insane. Now, of course, this is actually an average over four laps. That's how they do it. And it was sensational to watch. Um, <laughs> it was so cool. It's, it's also a Penske one, two, three lockout, a front row lockout for the it's 500. It's the only race that have a three wide mm. grid. So and, and yeah, one, two, out. three on the first row, and the team Penske mm. took over. All three of them, Joseph Newgarden, P3, uh, Will Power P2, and yeah, my boy Scott McLaughlin, a big fanboy. Um, yeah, pole position, unbelievable. So, hang on, hang on. for three... reference, by the way, guys, oh, just for context, here Alex has when you walk into his room, the first thing you see is a carb, a life size cardboard cutout yep. of Scott McLaughlin. It's true because I wanted him there at my 21st, and you know, he, he was, he just didn't talk as much. Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he was there, just didn't move. Um, so yeah, uh, by the way, 224 miles an hour is. 360 kilometers an hour pretty much see that's the thing in the straights they're faster it's about 240 240 miles an hour which i'll just do now is yeah you call yeah, it two, 386. 386 that's insane oh, that's literally like a flash imagine yeah. watching that and just sitting there i would love to go there one day it's a long race though it is a, a long, long race. race 500 laps of non-stop action turning left pretty much, <laughs> um, especially in these cars. Um, but tell you what, who did well, uh, Carl Larson on debut. Yeah, he's he usually did, a NASCAR driver, isn't he? Yeah, and he's rather quick in NASCAR. Um, so not, not as surprising there. But the fact that he went from a stock car to an open wheeler to do, yeah, about three hours of three racing. Hour race. That's crazy. Although that's similar to what... Um, that's two F1 races. That's, oh, in saying that, though, NASCAR actually have about two and a half hour minimum races. Yeah, this is this is pretty rare though. Yeah. Like uh, an Indy car race is race, usually about yeah. two and a bit, but yeah, three hours for the Indy five hundred. But yeah, in terms of that, comparing that to Formula One, yeah, like this is doubly as hard. We they only have about an hour and a half in Formula One, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not even sometimes depends on how fast Max Verstappen is. I think the reason for that is is fuel. You know, the, these guys in IndyCar still use old-fashioned yeah, fuel re systems. Refueling. They refuel. Mm. F1 do not. Do you? Would you like to see? I know we're going a bit off topic here, but would you like to see Formula One go back to refueling? Yes. And the only reason I say that is because it will bring more strategy into the game. Yes, it can be a bit dangerous, but the problem is the fuel they use isn't. You know, you can't just chuck it in via a hose. You know, at the petrol pump and stuff. They. I don't even know how they do it. I've never seen an F1 car get refueled because they have to the whole cover off. It was very different now, isn't it? Yeah, there's no just, you know, open Bowser on the side of the car. They just, you know, plug it in. Mm. It's all take the cover off. Yeah, it's impossible. And even in qualifying, they, they rarely do it, mm. I hear. Like, well, hopefully once they get rid of the hybrid system and go back to maybe V12, like we said with the sustainable fuel, <laughs> not sure maybe we gonna, might see a hose. I'm hoping for sure a better world. Happen, mate. We'll find out. I, 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 I'll have faith. Hey, dreams, I'll have faith. Dreams be, are possible. Yeah. I'll be 80 years old and they're racing electric and I'll be like, sure. one day they'll go back to the 12s. Dreams. <laughs> Dreams can come true, but I wouldn't hold my bets on that one there. Uh, well, so that's Alex why we like faith. I'm optimistic. So that's why we like IndyCar because <laughs> they're still old school and I think they have the most competitive field in the world. Plus they sound amazing. Oh, they sound incredible. Oh, so good. Um, but yeah, yeah. Very close field, like you said, as well. Oh, unbelievable. The time. And like li literally anyone can win. Mm. It's but uh, and the thing is, you can have good days and you can have bad days. Uh, all, and it takes very little to have a bad day. Like for example, here Nolan Siegel, he's a rookie, nineteen year old, wow. first ever Indy five hundred. Unfortunately, than us. he's not racing because he uh, crashed out quali. He's I think he was the only one that crashed out in the qualifying. 
Um, no, there was a few, but he crashed out to not get into qualifying. That's what I mean. That the qualifying system in Indy, well, for the Indy 500, goes for like a week as well. It's yeah, really it long, and practice is a week before that, isn't it? Yeah, as well. so they call it the month of May, but three, three, two or three weeks is just Indy 500. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And uh, Catherine Leg um, has qualified successfully qualified for a fourth Indy 500 as well. So um, good work on the female side of things. Oh, she's quite speedy too, actually. In saying that, um, yeah, no, she she is. races. I think I swore. I think sport cars or um, IMSA. Yeah, a lot of the North American stuff. But mm. yeah, looking at this year's standing only alex below has won two races the rest of them have been you know different winners mm. well didn't um well because of course penske lost their vic lost their results in saint petersburg yeah did they win a race there and they, then they got it taken away or did they... yeah so joseph newgarden won the race mm. scott mclaughlin came second uh but they both got disqualified yeah for overusing of the uh, push to pass system, which I love, by the way, That's I cool love that one. system. I do it's like so it good. It's for those who don't know, it's very similar to the drag reduction system, the DRS in Formula One, except you can use it whenever you want, and it's not a wing slipstream system. Mm. It's power based. Yeah, so it's really cool. But yeah, no, that's what happened. The two boys came one two, and they both got stripped of that. Um, and then yeah, Scott McLaughlin won the next week. Yeah, as in like and he got pole position too as well. That was a really good race, actually. And we covered he that on our that uh, YouTube and Spotify. Um, and he even hit a mannequin for good measure as well. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, so let's have a quick look at the top, the fast six, because, um, of course, that's what they do. Uh, so, of course, Scott McLaughlin with a, uh average speed of 234.220. Uh, these are all miles per hour, by the way. And then we've got Will Power, uh, 233.917. And then New Garden with a 233.808. Um, so as we said, front row lockout for Team Penske. Um, great to see there. Uh, and then we've got Rossi, uh, the non-Penske rider driver for with a 233.090. Cole Larson, the rookie, with a 232.846. And then last but not least, uh for Richie, uh, with a 232.0. 0.692. So um, I'm very excited. Do you reckon um, Penske can maintain this this pace and, and uh, keep the front? Look, they've won a lot of Indy 500s. Oh, yeah. lot. I think Joseph Newgarden won last year's and he started like 22nd. Mm. Um, he was really far back and, and won. So, But look, I don't care what happens. As long as Scott McLaughlin wins, I'll be happy. I'll, <laughs> I'll be through the roof. I actually haven't ever watched the race because... A, for us, it starts at like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Oh, yeah, it's awful timing for us. Yeah, it's terrible timing for us Aussies. But, um, I, but the, then the race finishes I don't know, 7 in the morning, something like that. Yeah. So we can wake up towards the end, but then you don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, at, the, at the beginning. I'm, so, But I think like, they got the best shot. Oh, and yeah. if, if they won last year from 22nd, yes, doesn't matter. They say as long as you're on the lead lap. Yeah. As long as they If have you're a on the race. lead lap. Mm. With the last ten to go, mm. it's anyone's game. Yeah, they just need a good start, and then once they can maintain that start and stay out of trouble, then happy days. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. 